What are you laughing at, honey? <laughs> myself. Myself for being such a liar. I'm writing a letter to Shep. Darling Shep, I am spending the summer on the on the wing, making flying visits here and there, and who knows? Perhaps I shall take a sudden notion and swoop down on Dallas. How would you feel about that? Haha. <laughs> Uh-huh. Most of my sister's friends go north in the summer, but some have homes on the Gulf, and there has been a continued round of entertainment, tans, cocktails, and luncheons. Eunice seems to be having some trouble with Steve. I heard about you in that damn block! That's a damn lie. You ain't pulling wool over my eyes. I see you at the four deuces, but you always going up. Whoever see me up? I see you with her at the balcony. She's chasing her around the balcony. I'm gonna call the vice squad. Don't that. You hit me! I'm gonna call the police! Did he kill her? No, she's coming down the stairs. Call the police! I'm calling the police! What's the matter with Eunice? She and Steve had a row. Has she got the police? No, no. She's getting a drink. That's much more practical. She here? Nah, she's not the four deuces. That rotten hunk. I must jot that down. I must write that down in my notebook. I'm compelling a notebook of quaint little words and phrases I picked up here. You ain't gonna pick up nothing you ain't ever heard before. Can you count on that? You can count on up to 100 for it. That's a mighty high number. What sign were you born under? Sign? Astrological sign. I bet you were born under Aries. Aries people are forceful and dynamic. They love to bang things around. You must have had a lot of banging around in the army. And now that you're out, you make up for it by treating inanimate objects with such a fury. Stanley was born just five minutes after Christmas. Capricorn, the goat. What sign were you born under? Oh, my birthday is next month. September 15th. That's on the Virgo. What's Virgo? Virgo the Virgin. Huh. That's funny. The Virgin. So, do you know anybody named Shaw? Shh. Why, everybody knows by the name of Shaw. Two, one. Well, this guy named Shaw is under the impression he met you in Laurel, but I think he has you mixed up with another party because he thinks he met you at a hotel called The Flamingo. I think he does have me mixed up with another party. The Flamingo is not the sort of establishment that I would be seen at. Do you know of it, though? I've seen it, smelled it, Smelled it. You must have put it pretty damn close if you could smell it. The odor of cheap perfume is really penetrating. And the stuff you wear is expensive? $25 an ounce. That's, that's just one hint if you want to remember my birthday. Yeah, your birthday. Well, this guy must have you mixed up. He's always going in and out of Laurel. I'll see you at the Fort Deuces, Stella. Hey, don't I bring one kiss? Not in front of your sister. What's he been saying about me? Huh? Stanley, what's he... Has he been talking about me? Like, have you heard any unkind of gossip about me? Why no, Blanche, of course not. I mean, there, honey, you. there was a, a good load of talk back in Laurel. About you, Blanche? It wasn't so good back then. As soon as Valerie slipped through my fingers, you know what I mean? All of us do things that we- I was never hard or self-efficient self enough. Uh, people have to be soft, bloody, glowing, beautiful, and I'm none of those. I have turned the turning blind eye, and I, I'm, I'm just simply not enough anymore. Where are you going? Are you listening to me? I don't listen to you when you're being morbid. Come on. Have you, have you not been listening to me this whole time? Is that for me? Why, not for anyone else. Is it just that? You want a shot in it? A shot never does a coke any harm. I like to wait on you, Blanche. It makes me seem more like home. I do, I, I, I would like to admit, I love being waited on. Blanche. Yeah. You're so good to me. Did you know that? Blanche. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I know you don't like it when I get all sorts Blanche. of mess. Oh my goodness. Stella, just give me a moment. Before that stuff. Wait. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh Heaven. no. Oh no. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. Did it stay? <laughs> Grab the hanky, blow it gently. It didn't stay. It didn't stay. Oh my god. Well, 
no, Eureka, is ain't that right? <laughs> Eureka, Eureka, what? Oh my god. Why did you scream like that? I, I don't know, I guess I'm just nervous about Mitch coming over around 7 o'clock. And, I don't know, I haven't really told him about my real age. Why are you sensitive about your age? I don't know, I guess I just wanted to seem like that I'm the prim, proper kind of gal. I'm not, like, just some old school English teacher. Blanche, do you like him? I want to rest. Yes, of course I like him. <sighs> hey, Steve. Hey, Eunice. Hey, Stella. It will happen. It will? It will happen, honey. It will happen. Me out of all people. I don't know. What to do, what to do. Come in. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'm collecting for the evening, sir. I didn't know the stars took up the collection. Yeah, I bought that. That's the paper. Hmm. I mean, I was simply just joking, but will you come inside and have a drink? No, man. Uh, no, thank you. I can't. I can't drink on the job. That's okay. Oh, man. Let me get my wallet. Oh, not a dime. You see, I'm one of those poor Mississippi ladies that you've heard about. No, no that's all right. I'll, I'll just drop by there. Well, I better be gone. Young man, young man, has anyone ever told you that you look like a prince from the Arabian Nights? Nope. Young man. Alright, well, I can't keep you I can't keep you here any longer. Get out of here.